Hallo, wie ist es? Mein Name ist Ivan von Birschen. I was captain in Yugoslav Military Intelligence Service. In age of 21, I was in Africa and I have been investigate market to which kind of weapons Yugoslavia can sell to African countries. In Rhodesia, I met a man called Charles Morgan. He was CIA, he was helicopter pilot. The 1976, because I know too much, I am forced to run away from Yugoslav military intelligence service. And to save my ass, I come to Sweden to get political asylum because if I was returned to Yugoslavia, I will be executed by my own. Here in Sweden, I work as doorman in Sharaton Stockholm Hotel. I met many CIA agents because Sharaton Hotel that time was center for espionage in all Scandinavia. In November 1985, I met again Charles Morgan in Stockholm. He told me, listen, Ivan, you can get $2 million if you kill Olof Palme. I said, no way. I support Olof Palme as a very moral and honest man. I will never, ever, for any money, give Olof Palme pain. I want police, before Palme was killed, to stop execution of Olof Palme. CIA going to kill Olof Palme, I already told them that in November 1985. I don't know what to believe, really. Ivan von Birchan, in the month before the murder, said that he called the police and said that he had been offered money by a person that he thought was working for the CIA to shoot Olaf Palmer. Stieg uh, actually did research on Ivan von Birchan. It's pretty obvious that the police didn't trust what Ivan von Birchan was saying. But it's also clear that Stieg Larsson was much more open-minded. He wanted to explore any possible U.S. motive or links to its intelligence services. classified CIA document. This is pretty amazing, actually. I genuinely have no idea where he got that from. It's a 19-page report that describes historical assassination and examples. The CIA actually instructed how they should assassinate people. In lost assassination, an assassination where the assassin himself is sacrificial, he can get caught himself or die in the process. The assassin must be a fanatic of some sort. Politics, religion, and revenge are the only feasible motives. If a pistol is used, it should be as powerful as possible and fired from just beyond reach. The .357 Magnum is an efficient caliber. That's exactly the caliber that was used when Olaf Palma was killed. Mm -hmm. 
it's close to incredible that the CIA would even care about Olaf Palme, but the US start to see him as a real problem. Something that started during the Vietnam War. 15 years ago, North Vietnam, with the logistical support of Communist China and the Soviet Union, launched a campaign to impose a communist government on South Vietnam by instigating and supporting a revolution. The United States furnished most of the money, most of the arms, and most of the men to help the people of those countries defend their freedom against communist aggression. Olaf Palme was really loud and critical of the Vietnam War. And what happens today in Vietnam is a form of torture. A death. And of that we have many examples in the modern history. And they are almost connected to Vietnam. Guernica, Oradou, Babiar, Lidice, Treblinka. Now fogas a new name to Raden. Hanoi, July 1972. Many in the US started to feel that Olaf Palme was anti-American. In a sense, equating the American bombing of Hanoi and Haiphong with Nazi atrocities, do you think in looking back on that statement that perhaps it went too far? No, I think um, in the sense I said it, it was correct. Because um, when I was comparing, weren't systems or regimes, they were symbols of the violence. I thought of the suffering people in these circumstances. So from Stieg's files, I could see that Olaf Palme's stance on Vietnam had really started to anger the US. He had even marched against the war together with the North Vietnamese ambassador. Olaf Palme was the only prime minister in the world who managed to actually upset the US to the extent that they called back their ambassador twice from Sweden. Vill du se fortsättningen så kan du klicka här för att komma till hela avsnittet. Glöm inte att prenumerera på vår Youtube-kanal och det gör du via den här knappen. Vi ses! Hej då!